Molti anni fa, facendo il pilota di barche da corsa, mi resi conto di quanto è importante l'assetto. Many years ago, when I was a racer helmsman, I realized how important the trim is for performance. When we're on a pleasure boat, we're not racing, but the correct trim allows us better navigation, reducing fuel consumption and having more comfort on board, minimizing pitching and rolling, and also having more safety with a better view on the bow. But let's be honest, on a nice day, on a boat. Well, today it's not actually a nice day, but we don't care. We do not want to think about the trim. We just want to enjoy the sea. Thinking about all this, a Swedish company called Zipwake developed a trim control system, which is both manual and automatic. It is equipped with a 3D sensor and an integrated GPS. Impiega degli interceptor, cioè delle paratie mobili applicate sullo specchio di poppa che scendono al di sotto. It uses some interceptors, meaning moving blades that extend under the bottom line and intercept the water flow. There are as many as 24 models, ranging from 6 to 30 meter boats, and they have different shapes to adapt to the shape of the hull even if it has chines. The best results are obtained by using wide interceptors applied to the lateral ends of the hull. By intercepting the water flow under the hull, the interceptor changes the trim of the hull, meaning the angle that the boat navigates on the surface. Guardate, è piuttosto semplice. Quando il flusso d'acqua incontra la paratia viene bloccato e nel tentativo di continuare... It's pretty simple. When the water flow meets the blade, it is stopped and when it tries to keep flowing, it exerts upward pressure on the hull. If the water pushes up the stern, the bow goes down. That is pretty easy because the hull rotates around its thrust center. The interceptors by Zipway are very fast. I just need to extend 30 millimeters to create the same effect as a large flap. Then, in the case of not fitting wide interceptors, we can use a model that extends 60 millimeters. Ora, da questo effetto di correzione dell'assetto longitudinale deriva. Now, after the longitudinal trim correction, we come to the correction of the healing using one interceptor at a time. Let's see how. All the adjustments we'll see can be made manually or automatically. Zipwake ha realizzato dei comandi che sono molto intuitivi. Vi faccio vedere subito cosa succede in partenza. Zipwake has developed very intuitive commands. I'm going to show you what happens when accelerating, which is the moment when usually the bow raises. We need to push it down to have a better view. On board the Ranieri International Next 275LX, there's a correct balance, so this action is not much seen. But I will accentuate it by raising the trim of the outboard engine, deliberately to bring the bow up. Instinctively, if I want to push it down, I would have to do this. This is the movement. And that is the same as I have to do on the small wheel of the control panel. Take a look at the numbers indicating the interceptor's extension percentage. Take a look at how the bow goes down. I have now already achieved a perfect trim. Continuiamo a parlare di assetto longitudinale. Let's keep talking about the pitch, which is the longitudinal trim, as is written on the panel. Adesso supponiamo invece di voler alzare la nostra prua, magari per superare più facilmente. Let's suppose we want to raise the bow to easily pass the waves that could shatter on the deck. E allora basta immaginare di avere, per esempio. We just have to imagine having a fishing rod which raises the bow. This would be our action, and I'm doing it on the control panel. Take a look at how the bow is raised. Easy, isn't it? Still easier is the use of the whole automatic system. To activate it, just press the auto button. 
Automatic control of the longitudinal and lateral trim, meaning the roll. Now, I'm going to set it back to manual, because I want to show another feature. Just imagine your boat is tilted, maybe due to the waves coming on one side of the boat or the strong wind, or maybe a wrong weight distribution of your guests. We are going to simulate it. Ecco, in questo momento sto utilizzando gli interceptor per Right now, I'm using the interceptors to pretend that there is more pressure on the starboard side. The boat has tilted and skidded to the right. It's very simple to bring it back straight. Intuitively, I would do this operation. I would like it to straighten on this side. How do I do this? By turning the roll wheel to this side. When the extension of the two interceptors are on equal percentage, I have returned to a neutral position. Questa barca non ha bisogno di correzione dello sbandamento laterale, i pesi sono ben distribuiti, in questo momento vento e mare non This boat does not need lateral heel correction. The weights are well distributed. Right now, wind and sea are not so strong to make the boat heel. When I have the interceptor extension equal, I'm sailing in a neutral condition and as you see, perfectly balanced. Sono però sicuro che la maggior parte di voi vuole utilizzare questa funzione in modo automatico, ma È difficile impostarla? Assolutamente no. However, I am sure most of you want to use this function automatically, but is it difficult to set? Absolutely not. You only need to enter a few basic boat data, length, width and weight. Automatically, the system finds the best pitch curve for your boat. It is the basic starting curve, but then from this you can change the settings depending on the conditions you find. Let's see. I put on automatic control, give gas to plane. Look at the trim as it stays perfect. The hull runs parallel on the surface. I accelerate again and bring myself up to cruising speed. It continues to lie perfectly flat on the surface, touching the water from bow to stern. This is the best condition for no pitching. I give it more throttle and now seek for maximum performance. Guardate, il sistema ha tolto completamente l'effetto degli intercepto. Zero significa che sono completamente retratti. The system has completely removed the effect of the interceptors. Zero means they are completely retracted. At this point, it's up to me to use the outboard trim to find the best stroke angle and the one that gives me the highest performance. How fast this boat runs with this 350 horsepower by Honda, really fun, 42 knots of top speed. I am having fun, but today I have another task. I'm going to slow down and tell you how to change the trim of the boat according to your taste and also according to the conditions you will find. Ora supponiamo di essere in navigazione e che le condizioni improvvisamente non siano più buone. Now suppose we are sailing and the conditions are no longer as good as these. Suppose we have waves in the bow. It is clear that in order to control the sailing better and have more comfort, we have to lower the bow so that we reduce pitching. Very simple, we leave the system on automatic but lower the bow. Aggiungiamo cioè una prestazione ai nostri interceptors. We add extension of our interceptors. Now the system knows it has to hold this new position with the bow lower. Of course, if on the contrary we have the wave in the stern and therefore need to raise the bow, we would simply turn the pitch wheel in the opposite direction, like this. In direzione opposta, così. E lo strumento ci indica che abbiamo the control panel indicates we have set the system in a different way, with a slightly higher bow compared to the standard initial position. Zip wake interceptors also control the roll. They do so with a frequency that we can choose. 
We can tell them how quickly to correct the boat's healing on a scale of 1 to 10. E questo controllo dello sbandamento non avviene soltanto mentre navighiamo in rotta, ma anche mentre viriamo. This healing check is done not only when we're sailing on course, but also while we're turning, so as to give a perception of greater stability and safety to all the people on board with us. If the boat heals less and tilts less, everyone feels safer. Vi faccio vedere che cosa potete fare anche con questo sistema. Lo mettiamo in manuale. Let me show you what you can do with this system as well. We put it in manual. Suppose the steering doesn't work already. How do I get home? Simply by turning through the use of the interceptors. L'uso degli interceptor. Now let's veer the other way. So in navigation, use the interceptors to change direction. I'm putting automatic back in because I really like to use it that way. On this boat we found this control panel with the wheels and displays. But if you want, there is also a much smaller control with just wheels. And you can read the data on the big display you have on the bridge or even on your smartphone. If you've never heard of Zipwake, I can tell you that it's a company that has been active for over 10 years and has installed 50,000 such systems. And you can find them all over the world because they are present with their distributors in as many as 34 countries.